Oh, who is she? I don't make YouTube videos as often as before because, again, I'm not really motivated or because they are not monetized. So you gotta motivate me or I will stop. I'm, that's a direct threat. Okay, I'm joking. I'm just going to do that when I feel, when I feel like doing that. It's more like a hobby. Today I want to speak about clothes, about dress code for submissive men. Uh, and this is not the video that tries to police someone's choice how to dress. Like, I don't care, honestly. As soon as you um, do not make other people participate in your fetish, like if you don't uh, dress like a puppy in public so other people can see you, are uh, like, I don't care, like, honestly. And as soon as you don't steal uh, underwear from your wife without her consent, obviously. So, yeah. And... All of a sudden, I'm gonna speak about my own preferences. Yeah, what a surprise. And I think that that's important because my, um, like one of my main purposes, like why I do this, uh, is because I want to make our femdom about women. And I want to be loud about what women want. And I'm a woman, like I'm, I'm gonna be loud about what I want. Fine, so. Mm, I mentioned uh, things like feminization, sissification, yeah, like cross-dressing before, like a few times. I've been speaking quite a lot about it, and uh, that's also like certain dress code. I used to like feminized men, and I still do like feminine men, and I like are when there are some elements in their look, you know, some something that's like is traditionally feminine and of course when we speak about clothes clothes should not be gendered but we perceive it that way of course like it used to be different yeah like many like centuries ago men wore dresses heels makeup wigs it all existed it's just now it changed and now we perceive it that it's like everything like these things are feminine but we cannot change like this perception like this and I, despite of me knowing these things, I cannot switch it off. That's why when I see a man, mm, like, imitating, like, acting uh, and dressing like a woman, like, what do we mean? That he just wears the stuff that women traditionally wear. And traditionally, that refers to, like, more or less modern traditions. So... I'm not going to try uh, to try to change this perception. Like that's not my goal. My goal is different, and I just mentioned that before. But I'm an I'm a very ambitious person. I have many goals, right? So, yes. As for feminization, I'm not really into that. Yeah, but it can be just a little bit when um, that's like a masculine man with some little feminine thing and his appearance but this is not my main preference I just wanted to mention it right from the beginning because it seems like the most obvious um, kind of uh, clothing yeah because lots of subs are into cross-dressing and that's like kind of bright when we come to this topic uh, another thing um, I like like occasional pet play so things like collar and a leash and uh, like a puppy outfit. But actually, like it doesn't matter. Like I'm not really like that much into a puppy mask. Um, I mean, I'm quite neutral about it. Yeah, it depends on what we do. But you see, like for me to be not disgusted about something, that's already a big deal. I'm a very sensitive person and lots of things get me like ew that was actually the reason why at first I thought that oh maybe like this field is not for me because I easily get grossed out easily so let me tell you my favorite type of clothing for subs I think I'm going to make a reel about it now uh you can watch it on Instagram so as I said, yeah, clothes should not be gendered, but we perceive it this way. We cannot like change it like this. And I'm trying to break the pattern of femininity submissiveness. So 
when you see like a man who gets uh, feminized, yeah, who wears feminine clothes, we immediately assume that he is submissive. Yeah, because like the more feminine you are, the more submissive you are, kind of. And this is what I don't like. And um, I want my subs to be masculine in a way it's presented in this world and to use the image of masculinity are that's serving that's submissive to me to femininity to the feminine to femaleness to women whatever um i would prefer a submissive man to wear some kind of um clothes that traditionally refers to like masculine clothes yeah like night armor or a suit or I have a thing for uniforms I really like um, for example waiters like some nice restaurant waiters uniform because I like when they're tall with a good posture like they're well trained with really good manners and when they're serving yes this is what I like um, yeah what else that's pretty much it I think after all that's not about the clothes yeah it just adds something to the perception when it comes to um, you know some special BDSM outfits I like how women and men also yeah like look in some BDSM outfits like in latex are it looks really good I just don't think that it's supposed to be like the main thing because it's not about clothes like I can dominate I wanted to say I can dominate a man like naked but of course I can yes that's not about that but like in a penguin costume I can be I, I can wear a potato bag it does not matter so yeah but if we want to have more effect on our brain of course we use everything and I think that's mm, in all this like kin community people just speak quite a lot about like outfits of the dom yeah like what she's supposed to wear what subs are into what kind of fetishes they have but doms do not speak enough about what they want to see in subs and in their behavior and their appearance and I think that this is important because if you look at and I'm talking about obviously about heteronormative or uh, DS relationship and I want to remind you that like the majority of people are heteronormative and I'm not going to be like all inclusive here simply because I cannot relate to a lot of stuff that's going on because I'm not even bisexual I'm <laughs> yeah no remorse uh, I'm completely straight and I like men and I'm speaking from woman's perspective and I I find it funny that people uh, send me comments like oh you're queerphobic or you're heteronormative uh, as if it's like something bad like especially if you do not just I mean I don't really refer um, to BDSM that much honestly um, even if yeah like I do something yeah but I don't consider myself like a part of BDSM community uh, and I do financial domination a lot and financial domination yes of course that everyone can do that like of all orientations and gender identities yeah uh, but again the majority of fin doms are female and the majority of uh, fin subs are male you're not gonna erase that even if you want to uplift this five percent who are different please do it with respect to the majority like you cannot exclude the majority of people and when women finally start speaking about what they want, don't scream about like, oh, you're not inclusive enough. Like you may create your own content, your own communities, your own, I mean, like sub-communities. Um, obviously, like that's all the same sphere. But at the same time, it's kind of different. Because I think that 
most women, if we speak in general, that most women want pretty much the same things from men. And men want pretty much the same things from women. There will be exceptions always, but you cannot ignore some general tendencies. Like that's, I don't find it smart. That's it. Even if like I used to be so, I wanted to be, to, to seem so different. So like to include every little exception. But to me now it sounds like if I, what about people with four fingers? What about people with six fingers? Okay, that does not prove that a human is is someone who has four fingers, yeah? Okay, you deserve all dignity. Okay, um, that's too much about this. I wanted to speak about closing, that's it. Yes, getting back to women and what women want... Doms do not speak enough about what they want to see in submissive men. And I think that submissive men should do their best to look good for doms. I'm so jealous of gay subs, and I mean of gay doms, because they have like really good looking subs. And when you see it, like femme dom sphere, these subs, they, like most of them look gross. That's why, um, I mean, that's a part of the reason why women don't like submissive men. I mean, uh, why women who are, do not relate to kin community, like they, they don't know much about it. If you tell them, yeah, like submissive men, they would imagine this like porn addict, like a loser, weak man who stays home, yeah, has like a belly and looks like jelly, like ugh, this mess, because he has no power, no will. And I, I'm telling you how most women would imagine a submissive man. And that's on submissive men as well. Because often this is how they act and this is what they look like. And I think that as a submissive man, you should look good for your dom. Or even if, even if it's not, like if you don't have one dom, submissive men always say, Mm, where do I find this gorgeous goddess who will just fulfill all my desires? And of course, it sounds like, uh, or to who I'm going to serve, yeah, like with all my everything. But they see a woman as like as a pure fetish, and I just want them to ask themselves. How am I going to attract this woman? What's so good about me? And I ask this question all the time in response to their question, where do I find this woman? <laughs> Why would she possibly be interested in you? Why? What are you good at? Oh, I read two books and I can listen and I just will do whatever she says. That's it? That's it? You think that's enough? To be not only just with a woman, and a woman that's like a high creature, okay? But with a dominant woman, the one who you want so badly, that's it, you can suggest. Like you start with the obvious, start with something where you have power, and that's the way you look. That's, it's so easy to change in comparison to other things. Like, if you are overweight, please do something about it. That's not attractive. I understand that we live in the world where, like, we're supposed to, not supposed to say that yet, but that's not attractive. I mean, for some women that might be, uh, but there would be another reason like, because you would give her the feeling of safety, because you don't look, like, masculine, and lots of women were traumatized, and they don't want, like, a really masculine man. But that's a different topic. Yeah, like, take care of your hair, go to the gym, take care of your nails, just notice what you wear, notice how you smell. These are very important things.
Okay, that's enough for today. Subscribe to me everywhere where it's possible. Send me uh, tributes. Send me comments. Maybe not, don't send me messages. I don't like messages from subs. Like if you text me without the initial tribute, especially when it's like mentioned, for example, you find my Twitter, you see like that's all like clear in my bio that says like something that like I don't let men speak unless they pay the initial tribute. Uh, I just find it rude. Like you know that I don't do it for free. You think like I'm volunteering here. I give a lot of free information. I give a lot of uh, interesting perspective on like different topics in DS relationship. Yeah, but uh, please don't feel entitled to my time and my attention. I'm happy to receive messages uh, from other doms. Yes, that's what I like. I like to talk to women, but again, to actual women, please. Like, I don't care what you identify as, but I mean, when submissive men send me messages like, hey, I'm a girl, or you are not a girl. I already mentioned that many times, but that's not like a pass for a free conversation when I say that I only speak to women for free. Okay. And I mean, and like a couple of my friends who are also submissive men, but only because I'm interested in conversations with them and we don't have anything going on yet they have their own doms so yeah that's it but i really appreciate comments comments are great especially if you agree with me <laughs> no i'm joking you can you can disagree as much as you want okay okay that's it for today and i hope that that was interesting Share in the comments down below what you think, what you like to wear, and what your dom likes you to wear.